Now that you're familiar with the necessary skills required to master GI questions, let's delve into how your learning journey is going to look like with us. Our course is structured to progressively build your skills, ensuring that you become proficient. Let's look at what you're going to learn in Module 1, Fundamentals of Graphic Interpretation. Now, this module will equip you to tackle GI questions without calculations, relying solely on inferences and observations that you draw from the data set and the scenario. Here in this module, you will learn what it means to truly understand the data set. Should you be just skimming through the graph, or should you read each and every data value, or should you visualize the scenario and the data set such that you have a solid handle on what the data set presents to you. Don't worry, in this module, we will teach you how to truly understand the data set to the right degree so that you can solve GI questions with utmost confidence. The next focus of this module is to guide you in strategizing your approach to questions before diving into data interpretation, avoiding a classic pitfall of getting lost in the ocean of data prematurely. So, as a guiding light, if while going through this module, you find yourself leaning on calculations to find the answers, then take a step back. This module is all about building your observations and your inference skills, okay? Now, if you're worried about that, you know, I'm a little bit uh, not too certain about what line charts and bar charts do, don't worry, we have a refresher on these topics as well for you. We've got you covered. Let's now understand what you're going to learn in Module 2, Advanced Techniques in Graphics Interpretation. Now, building on the foundations laid in the previous module, here we're going to introduce more advanced questions. You'll learn to navigate through large data sets, and yes, calculations might come into play, but only towards the end of the solution. In this module, we're going to delve into concepts such as weighted mean, probability, sum through segmentation, rounding, estimation, and so on and so forth. And moreover, you will get a chance to tackle miscellaneous charts such as flowcharts, organizational charts, Gantt charts, Venn diagrams, and a lot more. Overall, by the end of this module, even seemingly complex charts won't seem so intimidating. And by the time you complete this module, you will have covered about 80% of all GI questions. Now, the next module in graphics interpretation is applying statistics in graphics interpretation. Now, this module focuses on GI questions that test you on statistical concepts. Now, by this point, after having tackled table analysis questions that rely heavily on statistics, you will be comfortable with these statistical concepts. You will apply the skills that you learned in the first two modules of GI section to these questions where you will now be tested on concepts pertaining to statistics. Let's talk about Module 4. Module 4, Applying Correlation in Data Insights. Our final module introduces you to the concept of correlation, which you will then apply to solve GI and table analysis questions that test you on that concept. You will learn to identify and analyze correlations within data to inform your answers.